The Pelicans are home twice this week. Alvin Gentry says Anthony Davis will play in both games. So if you go to a game or watch on TV, you will be watching one of the most ridiculous things ever in American sports. Now look, the NBA has a salary structure that is designed to help small market teams like New Orleans keep their stars. Anthony Davis said he would not sign another contract with the Pelicans. That contract that New Orleans and only New Orleans can offer would be five years, 230 $9.5 million. Wherever he's traded, they can sign an extension with him, but by NBA rules, they can only offer him $205 million over five years. And this difference is supposed to be enough to get a player to want to stay. But seriously, when the total is more than $200 million, does it really matter? So this NBA rule failed the Pelicans. So now, since that rule failed, the league is forcing another terrible rule rule on New Orleans. They say Davis has to play or they will fine the team. They say to protect the integrity of the league. And that rule, this second rule, hurts the team in three ways. One, if Davis tears an ACL or rips an Achilles, his trade value goes down. And the Pelicans have nothing to gain by actually playing him. Right now, New Orleans is tied for the eighth worst record in the NBA. If their current lineup can win, great. But if playing Davis artificially helps New Orleans win a couple games and drops their draft position, it actually hurts the franchise long term. But to me, the third reason is actually the biggest. It hurts the development of your younger guys. I think these three guys need to be playing a ton down the stretch. You need to figure out if Sheck Diallo, Kenrich Williams, or Frank Jackson can be legitimate rotational pieces in the future. These three need to play big minutes in the fourth quarter of every game from here on out. Every minute Anthony Davis plays takes away from guys like these who need the developmental time. For the NBA to force the Pelicans to play a guy who hurts you in multiple ways is wrong and stupid. Anthony Davis has filed for divorce from the Pelicans. The league says, okay, you can get divorced after 27 more dates. This NBA rule didn't work. So the league is forcing a second rule that forces sports fans in New Orleans to watch, or I think more likely not watch, incredible weirdness. And the awkwardness continues with two home games this week, Tuesday and Thursday, against Orlando and Oklahoma City.